The following program is rated E. Today on City Line, Colin and Justin take on Wabi Sabi. He's from 16th century Japan. So it's been around a while. A little while. You know, so you could say it was tried and tested. Why the art of imperfection might be right for you. You know, it's found its place because people are looking for their homes to deliver more. Then we try before you buy, and it's easy to know if we like it. This one got me really tingly. It's going to be on my <laughs> kitchen counter. You know when I get the tingles. It gave her the tingles, You know when man. I get the tingles. And later, homemade creme brulee has a tasty learning curve. It's very doable, and if you mess up a little bit, it's always delicious. It's City Line with Tracy Moore. Welcome to City Line, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Listen, we've got a great lineup on home day today. In a world where we're all striving for perfection, there's a Japanese concept known as wabi-sabi, and it focuses on imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete. I love it. So we're going to teach you more about this with my fabulous guests. You may have heard of them, Colin and Justin. <laughs> hey. Hi, team. Hey. Good morning. Hey guys. I loved him. He wanted to do big, massive kisses. I kind of, I shied away from that, Tracy. Shied away from that. Yeah, it felt a bit awkward. You're yeah. like, we're gonna do the walkout, but we yeah. can't do her kiss. No, right? No. I appreciate you. Oh, maybe next you. time we'll yeah. build to it. Next time, yeah, right next in time. Colin. Mm -hmm. That's getting my Tracy on. That was cool. <laughs> Okay, so I love this. I love what we're talking about. I walk into the set, I immediately start feeling way more calm. Uh, what is this technique about and when did it originate? Okay, so wabi-sabi, okay? It comes from 16th century Japan. So it's been around a while. It's a been little around, while. You know, so you could say it was tried and tested. Yes. You know? But in the 21st century, you know, it's found its place because people are looking for their homes to deliver more. You know, they want to get that whole sanctuary feel. They want to feel that something about their home brings out the best in them. Your home should be a clinic, so you're your best self. And I think this is a really nice way to go. Now, back in the 16th century in Japan, there was a tea master. His name was Sen no Riku. Okay. And he would have these tea ceremonies. And he realized that the room, the objects, the whole mood was as important as the tea. And at that moment... Wabi Sabi was, was born, okay. and it was about embracing imperfection. It was about seeing the beauty in objects, and it was about having a purer experience at home. That's what we want, isn't yes. it? Yes. How much, how much do we talk about embracing the imperfection yeah. on this show? Do. Like, do it yeah. in your decor do as well. Look at these faces. Mm -hmm. Embra embracing imperfection. <laughs> That's correct. You've got to look at what you're doing. We're going to start by talking about these gorgeous walls. Yeah. Okay, so Tracy, we've gone for a really slow, easy colour scheme. Now, this paint here is called Manchester Tan. It's by Benjamin Moore. Yeah. It's a kind of a beigey colour. Now, I love that, but rather than leave it flat, well, first of all, it's, uh, it's a very, very matte finish as well, so it's not shiny. Mm -hmm. You'll see that as you look around here. There's no gloss or sheen. It's really subdued. So a matte okay. finish with, with the Benjamin Moore paint. But to bring it alive, we've taken a wallpaper brush dipped into white eggshell, uh -huh. and then very, very carefully, we've just dragged the brush, the dry tips of the brush, across there to finish. And this whole look for me, Tracy, it's so decompressing, it's so relaxing. Yeah. When you walk in here, you can feel the stresses ebb away. Absolutely, low blood pressure yeah, happening 100%. right now. Is that the brush you use to it do is. the strokes? <laughs> this is the brush that Colin uses for his fake tan, Tracy. <laughs> These types exactly. of brushes are very, very useful. <laughs> Oh, well, I think you're fine. I woke up like this. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about embracing the imperfection. Where do we see that manifest in this beautiful space? You know, that's the thing. I think if there are imperfect things in the room, mm -hmm. you feel more relaxed. I agree. Because everything's not set. You're not on best behavior. Yeah. Little stools over there, they've got little cracks in them, little worn timber Lovely. in there, you know? So it immediately feels friendly. You get a kind of vibe on from that. Yeah. Even the artwork here, you know, these pieces are from HomeSense. And they really are the decor in this room, don't they? They're very yes. commanding yeah. on our unbroken wall behind the bed. But we chose them because they're paper and because they're all handmade. So they're slightly imperfect. Right. You know, it's not like a machine going, ch -ch 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 -ch. it's about people making things and making mistakes because we're all human, you know? So yeah, let's embrace, embrace that. that. 
and embrace this color palette. Yeah, so always. I just happen to match. <laughs> Coincidentally, <laughs> Chrissy, it's exactly. almost like you knew what we were doing right? today, right? It felt, it almost feels like that. I love it. But there is something so beautiful about having this monochromatic space and yeah. having everything be in these gorgeous oysters and eggshells and oatmeal. Of course, and it's super immersive. You yeah. feel so, so relaxed in here. Now, the keynote to any good bedroom is a bed. Now, all the furniture a you're seeing bed. here today, a good bed is super important. Yes. This bed came from Urban Barn, as, as did the lovely dressers and all so the case good. goods that you see around about there. A really comfy mattress from Ikea, because obviously mm -hmm. the bed, you spend such a lot of your life in there doing whatever you do. You want to make sure that it's comfortable. <laughs> yes. Now, talking of comfort, yeah. no head banging in this bedroom, Tracy, because this <laughs> is a really ah. soft... Do you know what? You don't want to disturb the neighbours when you're, when you're reading your book, right? <laughs> right. When you're right. busy reading chapter to page. No, no. <laughs> Super soft, so forgiving. Isn't it gorgeous, Tracy? I I, I, there's it. something... I mean, I love all our babies. I love all the rooms that we do, but there's something <laughs> yes. about this particular aesthetic that just completely makes me feel cleansed. Yes. I'm having a bodily <laughs> cleanse. It's I'm been, purging. It's, it's the calmness of not Can having a, a ton of eye distraction. Yeah, you right? are on it, <laughs> Tracy. But right? yeah, all, all the furniture that you're seeing here essentially was from Urban Barn. And their wares are just super. The rocking chair, do I have a little go in that. Okay. Honk your bum in that, Mrs. <laughs> Thank you. How comfy, oh. but don't mess up my cushion. Okay, so. Oh, that's enough, that's enough rocking. Stand back up. So comfortable. Isn't it good? No, this is She's beautiful. Off her it's such, such but it all, I'm off my rocker, but it also looks a little bit aged, a Doesn't little bit it? imperfect. And that's the key, like Tracy. That. Exactly. It looks as if it's been there for a while. Yes. It looks as if there's a story to be told that it's not been made and shoved in along with 50 other versions. I'll be watching that cushion. You know what to do, Tracy. <laughs> Delicate chop and we're done. Exactly. Okay. Good girl. Nice. Good girl. Now, exactly. Let's talk a little bit about um, we've got all these beautiful clay moments and stone moments throughout here. Let's talk about those. Yeah, I mean, one of the great ingredients in Wabi Sabi, you know, is to use natural elements. Yeah. So you want to get wood in there, stone, clay, and no better source than beautiful antique pots. Yes. Now, these are by Hauer Market, and they have a great website where you can find the stockists right across Canada who carry these beautiful one of a kind imported uh, pots to Canada. Beautiful. And what we love about these is that they're all imperfect. Mm -hmm. They're all aged. So I like the ones that are unglazed because they look dusty. Yeah, you know? they do. So this is a good look for you. If you don't clean at home, maybe this is your look. A little mm, bit of dust. Vibe. You go, you know what? We're not dirty. We're wabi-sabi. That's uh, right. You know? It came from an ancient ruin. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It for seven years. exactly. Yeah. As did I this morning. <laughs> you know? But get them on your surfaces. You know, we've got a beautiful wall of pots that there. That is gorgeous. Don't put anything in them. It's about yeah. appreciating the individual beauty of each one. Yes. And then if you've got a few larger pots, put them on the floor. You yeah. know, because then you get this beautiful low-level kind of uh, lifestyle, which is very Japanese. You know, you think of all the low tables sitting on the floor, little cushions, that type of thing. So yeah. suddenly that simplicity comes into play with that as well. And I think what's important, Tracy, as well, to reiterate mm -hmm. what Colin's saying is these are all hand-selected. So when you buy something and take it home to your home, what you have is something that nobody else has got. They might have something similar, kind. but it's a one of a kind. It's truly artisanal. Yeah. It's handmade. It looks like there's a passage of time there. Um, now, on the subject of passage of time, mm -hmm. what do you reckon of this rug? I love this yeah, rug. Yeah. I love the texture of it. I love the border on yeah, it. Yeah, it yeah. is gorgeous, and I like I like the size of it. Well, do you know what? A nice bed rug big. like this is such an important part of a bedroom because when yeah. you step out of bed, you want somewhere cozy to put your yes. tootsies. You want to feel really comfortable. You're already mad. You have to wake up. One like, hundred furious. Be the alarm clock's going off. Snooze button. Snooze button. I'm right? busy snoozing and dreaming. Exactly. I'm just going to roll onto the floor on my rug. But this, to me, I mean, it looks so handmade. It's 100% wool. It's so have a little feel trace. It's so textural. It's so utterly gorgeous. You <laughs> You can imagine it is not. I love oh, that I word. Like you that. can imagine some <laughs> very, very elderly weaver standing yes. at a mill and actually pushing that through the machinery bit by bit. The warp and the weft are all yeah. coming together, and then that lovely hand stitch at the end. You don't need a big pattern when you've got this look. It's all about the soft interplay of texture. Absolutely. I love that. Honestly, when I come in here, I feel like I've come home. Yes. I might have a little cry now, Tracy. Oh, but no. It's so, oh, no, don't, don't get me crying. But it feels so good. I know. Listen, oh, thanks for, yeah, I'm like, yeah, we all come just get down, down, down in the Why do we do that? Listen, it's all about minimalism as well. Um, I feel like you've done a really good job explaining this. And also, look at how it just wants to carry us onto yes, the ground. Exactly. Which also makes it so much more oh, let's casual. Sorry, Lily, I'm all the way down. Exactly. Let's take a break. More City Line coming up. That's so comfortable. Coming up, we're putting trending viral products to the test. A 
Okay, so I'm very interested in this uh, at the very end here. Okay. Now, were, were you right away, I want one? Welcome back, everyone. Now, do you have items sitting in your shopping cart? You don't know if you should buy them or not. It may be one of the items that we're about to try out right now. <laughs> So we're going to put these viral sensations to the test with lifestyle expert Shona Jensen. I love that we say, Shona, go buy them, yeah. go try them, <laughs> and then come back and tell us uh, how you feel about them. Yeah, so, it's fun. You, bunch of items here. I see eggs, yes. but we're not cooking, are we? Well, kind of. We are uh, cooking. Ish. But something I didn't realize is that people struggle with like hard bo soft boiled, hard boiled eggs. Yes. I did not know this was a struggle until this came about. Yours always so, come out well. Yeah, and I didn't know I had the secret sauce for that. Like oh. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. did. You Honestly, got the they did. Secret sauce. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, for those people who do struggle with it, you've yeah. probably had your eye on the very, very popular all over social media egg cookers. Okay. And so this is this is a device that will cook your eggs yeah. as the way that you want them. Okay. Or will it? So we'll oh, see. Really I'm not going to do a spoiler alert about what I think because we're yeah. actually going to put it to use. Okay. So the way this um, works is you fill this little water container up to the line and how you want it cooked. So this one is filled to medium. We're just going to do medium for the sake okay. of time. So you can do soft, medium, or hard boiled. S soft, medium, or hard boiled. That's yeah. right. And then we take the eggs and you can put, um, fill all the little holes. There's little slots for them. So you know what? Why don't we just fill them all? Sure. Because we have a carton of eggs. Why and not? Make lunch. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then you just put the cover on and you press the button and it starts cooking. Okay. And when it is done, it will beep. So you don't have to time it. Okay. The medium took takes around, you know, six, seven minutes, hard okay. boiled ten, just to give you an idea so we'll what you're dealing with. So we'll see if that's done by the end of the Yeah, we're going to let that work out. and we're going to come back. Okay, yeah. sounds good. In the meantime, yeah. you've got this guy. Like, is this a blender? What does that do? It is not a blender. Okay. It is actually, <laughs> believe it or not, a juicer. Oh. And I will tell you, I have Sleek. tested so many juicers over the years. Yes. And like, yes, they've gotten better and better and better. But I'm, I, I honestly think none of them compare to this one. This one got me really tingly. It's going to be on my <laughs> kitchen counter. You know when I get the tingles. It gave her the tingles, You know when man. I get the tingles. Okay, so um, you like this one. I really, really love it. And I've got a million reasons why, so I'm only going to be able to tell you a few. Okay. So this is called the Nama J2 cold press juicer. Okay. So the cold press part is important. Mm -hmm. uh, not many of them on the market are cold press. You get more juice out of your fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. with cold press and it doesn't heat up like from the speed of a blade whipping around yeah. or the process. Um, so you're retaining more nutrients. Okay. okay. Now what I also love with juicers is you have to put all the things feed them into the holes. Yeah. You know and you have to stand there and nurse it. With this one it works like a blender yeah. where you put all of the items in it. Into the um, oh, you don't peel into it. the basin. You don't, you don't peel, peel it. it. You just have to cut it small enough, like so it fits in. That's good. And that there's room. See, I'm yeah. just gonna break the uh, celery and put it in. Okay. Close the lid, turn it on, and it does its thing. And I will also say that this doesn't um, mm. make as much noise as you can hear. It's quite quiet. It's not bad at all. Juicers, I find all of them on the market that I've tested are so loud. So if you had a sleeping child or just want peace in your home, yeah, um, they're very very loud. And I also find that as it juices, it kind of spits out, you know, yes. spits out and kind of goes everywhere. Yeah. So already you can see there's action happening. As you can see, the juice is collecting here in the basin. It's not coming out and spitting out yeah. as the machine makes it. It's here in the spout. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. If you can see over in this side, all of the hard oh. parts are coming out. Yeah. Um, you know, it's pooping out, basically. It's pooping. Yeah, yeah, it is. Now, it's you can pooping. reuse this stuff into baked goods like muffins and, and loaves and stuff. There's lots of recipes, so this doesn't that's have smart. to be waste, okay? Yeah. Now, this, as you can, like, if wow, this zucchini, is done almost ready. that becomes your zucchini bread Yeah, or, whatever, or it doesn't right? even have to be zucchini. It can just be a vegetable bread. It, any, you know, it can right. be just that's a whatever right. you want. You can and, use it. Yeah, there's lots of recipes. I can't get into that. So, for the sake of time, yeah. this was almost done. Now, when this was never is done, all you have to do then is open oh the spout. Oh, my God. Oh, and it comes all out. I know. That's amazing. I know. So it's so it's so much smaller than the juicer we have yes. at home that we don't use anymore because it was too many compart too many parts. Put it away. Yes. It's getting gathering dust. I totally agree. Smaller footprint. Yeah. Comes in a couple of colors, so it's countertop friendly. 
very clean. Here's the best part. I drink green juice every single day and so does my husband. Uh -huh. We ordered delivery green juice to our house mm -hmm. in bulk, mm -hmm. okay? I did a cost analysis because I'm Shona and that's what I do. <laughs> okay, so I made a, a liter of green juice in this, which is the size of this cup. Okay. When I bought vegetables at the grocery store, not bulk, I didn't go to like a Costco or something, foot paid full price, not on sale. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. it came out to $12 a liter. Mm -hmm. When I, the equivalent to the juice that I buy, when it's on sale for 20% off, because the company always does coupons and I only order when there's a coupon. Mm -hmm. um, at, so the cheapest price possible <laughs> to get this at was $18 for a liter. So that's $2 a bottle at minimum savings. And it's really more than that if you're smart about your juicing. Yeah. Not to mention the sustainability. No plastic bottles, the shipping, the no all the things that come. No one coming over to your place to drop them off. Yeah, like yeah all, of, all, that all of that stuff. So, Very good. So it's just an absolute win for me. So you didn't like it then? Right, can you tell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. She hated it. I was like, woo! This is a good one. Okay, yeah. thank you for that. Yeah. Um, now we have this contraption. I don't know I what know. this is. Is it a fan? You, what you is You know it? what this is? A it's salad actually spinner. a portable wa clothes washing machine. That's a washing okay. machine? Okay, it's a washing machine. But, okay. spoiler alert, pass. It's a no-go for me. It didn't work it out. It doesn't work. It's not big enough. It's It doesn't hold like a whole item of clothing. You'd maybe do underwear in it, you know, at best, socks, that thing, last minute. Yeah. But what I was saying is, if you're going to store this in your, it, it doesn't work that great, so it can't even be that soiled. Yeah. And um, if you uh, are going to store this in like a drawer in a small space apartment or something yeah. like that, well, the miss amount, amount of space, just buy some extra socks and underwear. And then you can do it regular laundry. Also, you laundry. can wash your underwear in the shower. In the sink. In the the sink yes. like most of us do anyway. Yeah, yeah. You're on vacation, you totally. wash your panty in the some, sink. Some TikToker was packing Hot water it. Water and soap, y'all. Yeah, some TikToker was packing it to take it on vacation. I'm not taking this on vacation in my suitcase and checking Come it and etc. And so that's a pass. So the that's only, a pass. The only maybe is if you're an RV person. You know what I mean? Like that sure. kind of that type of camping sure. on the road, maybe, yeah. but it doesn't work that great. So it's for me, it's an absolutely no. Thank you for saving us money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm very interested in this uh, at the very end here. Okay. Now, Okay. Were, were you right away, I want one, or were you like, mm, I don't know, and then you tried it and you liked it? Like, well, how did it go? I'll tell you, before this even came up, I bought this. So this is a walking pad. It's yes. not a treadmill. Very, right. very different. Walking pad only goes to a certain speed, depending on the model. Yeah. It doesn't incline, so it doesn't go on, like, an angle to get a better workout. And it, as you can see, it's a considerably less footprint. Way smaller so than a treadmill. So a lot of people use this to either be on working at their desk, like a standing desk. Yeah. They... Uh, want it just to start introduce themselves to working out if you're mm. not active at all I'm all for baby steps so that's yeah. why I got it because yeah. I'm not a motivated exerciser yeah <laughs> in any way shape or form mm -hmm. um, I'm all or through an airport that's the ex that's the exercise you I have a green juice you're and fine so, yeah. <laughs> yeah life's about balance <laughs> um, and so um, so I got it now the one I got I liked because I thought okay I can fold that down and tuck it underneath like a sofa in my office yeah and when I feel like going for a walk I pull it out open it up it is not that simple. Yeah. It's, there are a lot more to it than it is to, when it comes to setting them up. So I okay. didn't like it because I was like, well, I'm never using this. Right. And then, so I, it was like a no. Then okay. this came up and I set mine up permanently in yes. my office. So it took up space always set up. That's when I started using it. Right. I started using it because it was there. I yes. didn't have the barrier to, to you know, full you unfold it and set it up. You don't want to set up anything if you up. already don't want to work out. Right, that's exactly. You have to yeah. take away all the barriers. Yeah. I didn't like working at it from a desk. I'm going at a very slow speed right now. It's yeah. got speed things. But I couldn't coordinate my walking and my typing. It didn't work for me at yeah. a standing desk. It's a lot. So that's a no for me. But I pop my iPad on here. I watch my favorite YouTuber or whatever I'm watching. Yeah. And I'll get some steps in when I have a minute. I'll even, sometimes, no joke, I'll just watch YouTube and I'll drink a coffee, but at least I'm walking oh. because it's crummy weather outside. I am not want, don't want to walk outside. There's lots of reasons why you might want to not want to go outside, So right? you like it. And so now I absolutely love it if you're someone who needs that li really accessible, easy to step on. Yeah. It's don't expect to run marathons on it. Don't expect to even run on it. It doesn't well, go that fast. Walking is very good for you. It's a complete yes. exercise yes. and it's underrated. Yeah, yeah, Like it walking is. is good. You can do it your whole life. You can do it your whole life. You can do it your life. whole life. God willing, yeah. God You're, willing, yeah, if yeah. you can, yeah. right, you can. Um, the egg, okay, didn't beep yet. Right. Should have now, by now. So we're waiting for medium so, boiled eggs. We've got 30 seconds till the end of the segment. Okay. We I'll are going to, we're going to open it open up. Open it. Let's open it and see where up. we're at. Um, 
So they're going to be really they're hot because be this your should have um, already. You can kind of see where I'm leaning towards this. Probably um, they already should have beeped. Yeah, and they should have already been cooked to medium. Oh, I can. You want to cut it? it? Just even cut it because we can see how it's cooked on the inside. Oh. Okay. So I'll tilt it. The whites here, this should have been cooked to medium, so even soft boiled, which would have been much less, the whites here are not solid yet. That's so not cooked. That's not soft boiled, let alone medium. Yeah. I did it at home to hard. Mm -hmm. It took about 10 minutes. Yeah. It was still runny on the inside. I put it in for another 10 minutes, and then it was finally cooked. Oh. So, but wait, I have to say quickly, this is a hot button topic around here because there are a couple people on staff who have these egg cookers. They're giggling over here. And I can swear hear them. by them. And they love them, but they're different brands than this one that I that I tested. Yes, fair. So this one yes. is an absolute fail. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You can buy the things that you like on this table and yeah. maybe not the ones that you don't, yeah. but you just scan the QR code on the screen right now and we'll take you right to their links. Let's go to break. More coming up. <laughs> Coming up, that magic moment with creme brulee. Ready? Oh, yeah. The crack is complete. Welcome back, everyone. Get ready to turn up the heat in the kitchen with the perfect caramelized crust and velvety custard dessert that will have you craving more. Here to satisfy your sweet tooth with creme brulee is Baker Jyoti Nanra. Hey. You're as sweet as the creme brulee, really and truly, and an incredible baker. So creme brulee to me, it sounds like, it sounds very special. It sounds like a lot of work, like the thing you order at the restaurant, but you don't make it home. Is it a ton it's of work? Not, I know I always say it's not, but this one really isn't. It's very doable. It's very doable, and if you mess up a little bit, it's always delicious. So I feel like creme brulee is one of those things, the more you make it, the better you get at making it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this will be my first go, so I'll just have to make it You're many, 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 many more times. A million percent. So okay. with creme brulee, because it's so few ingredients, we want to mm. make each of those ingredients count. Simply yeah. because you want those ingredients to shine, right? Right. So we're using a good cream. I've infused my cream with um, like the pod of my vanilla bean, a little mm -hmm. bit of coffee beans overnight. So I did a cold infusion overnight, and then I did a heated infusion. So I've never you heard get, of that. Oh, it's so good. So the cold infusion, you get like like delicate notes of that coffee, and then when yeah. you heat it, you get like that stronger. Mm -hmm. So it's just so good with all that vanilla. Nice. And then I double infuse my creme brulee. So I'll do uh, vanilla bean, so the inside mm -hmm. of the vanilla bean, and then uh, vanilla extract because all the flavor counts here. And it's, this is like creme brulee is French, right? It's French. We know the French don't mess around with no, their ingredients. No. Like, just do it right. Yes. Full fat cream. Always. Always. Yes. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so I've got my cream heated up here. I'm actually going to turn this guy off. Even the go. way it looks is beautiful, though. Those uh, coffee you. beans in there. Do you smell that? I it smell smells it. so good. So I um, infuse this overnight, cold in the fridge, yeah. and then I just heated it. And you can see my vanilla bean pot is in there as well. Yeah. So before we start our tempering process, all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to strain this. Yeah, you want to get everything out of there that you don't want in your uh, creme brulee. Exactly. Get rid yeah. of those coffee and beans. And we are going to do a double strain on this anyway, but it's nice to just eliminate that. So we want it to be super smooth in yes. the end. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to have you help me do this. Okay. So we're going to do something right now in a second called the tempering process. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that's good. Right? I would just drink that. <laughs> so oh. I have uh, egg yolks here. Creme brulee is made with only egg yolks. Egg yolks are the richest part of the egg. Okay. So they are the perfect base for egg any custard. And what's the black stuff? That is the inside of my vanilla bean. Got it. Yeah. And then I'm going in with salt because you always need salt when you're baking just to balance out all that sweetness. Yep. And then we've got our vanilla in there. Nice. So now this is just our custard base. You want to give this a pretty good whisk. You want to break all of those little bits of vanilla bean. Yeah. And now this is where if you can have someone help you, have someone help you unless you know how to do this. So this is what we call tempering the egg yolks. Right. So it's tempering them because we slowly add in our cream so that we don't scramble our egg yolks. Right. So we're gonna start. We're <laughs> gonna start brulee, by not scrambled eggs. Exactly. And we want to whisk. It's yes. We want to whisk while we pour. 
I so need you're an never assistant gonna... to clean up my mess. And now you can Am go... Am I going too fast? No, you can go heavier now because okay. we've introduced that hot cream into our yolks. Yeah. So at this point, you can actually just go ahead and... So it's all about the temperature and that's why you've got to exactly. go a bit slow. And now you can just pour it all right in. Nice. Amazing. And now we have that mixed up beautifully. Amazing. Okay. Thank you very much, Jyoti. Okay, so now we have this beautiful uh, custard. We do. So creme brulee is all about smooth custard because it's so basic, we want all the elements to be perfect. Okay. So sometimes egg yolks naturally have little clumpy bits in them. It's very normal for eggs. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and do a double strain on this. So it might be normal for eggs, but it's not normal for this recipe, so we're getting rid of them. We're getting rid of them. Strain it all out. Exactly, and you're gonna see some of that. Do you see those yeah, little I do. yellow bits right there? Yeah. So that creates a very grainy creme brulee. We don't want that. Right, we want it to be smooth. Very smooth. Okay, I'm gonna show you my favorite trick. So Show me your trick. Generally, we like creme brulee that doesn't have air bubbles in it. I know, I know. Okay. Very gentle, very gentle. Okay. This is gonna get rid of your air oh, bubbles. Oh, you're getting rid of the bubbles. So that when they bake, your bubbles yeah. don't bake into your creme brulee. You want a nice, fluid custard. You are way too comfortable with that. Like, do you see? She's just like, up and up. My, that's my favorite party trick. For the blowtorch, I love it. Good okay. for you. Do you okay, want to so, do this for her? Yeah, I will. But first, I just want to show you the pretty, the prettiest ramekins. Like, come on. <laughs> Only Jyoti Nanra has beautiful blush pink uh, ramekins. Yes, I will do it. Amazing. You can go ahead and divide them. Do you care? Them. Do, is there a, the, you okay, do it however you want to do it. Got it. So beautiful. divide them pretty much equally. Yeah, so you could do that in four if you wanted. I usually do three so everyone gets a nice big serving of creme brulee. I just want to know but how much I should be filling this up. You can fill them up all the way. They don't rise or anything. Okay. They bake as a solid custard, so you can Good. literally divide them and then... Oh, it's smelling good. It's so good. Okay. Beautiful. Evenly and then divided. we're gonna do that little thing again because we have those little air bubbles. And this is just gonna get rid of all nice. of those. So the bubbles, what? Is it just gonna mess up the texture? Yeah, they is just that bake, they... and then you have like little yeah. like dents in your actual creme brulee, which is yes. It's just a very visual. It's thing, imperfect. Right? We're leaving the imperfections for the wabi sabi, not for this <laughs> recipe. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna do this right now, but you're gonna pour in water yeah. so that your ramekins are just about an inch covered uh, with water because we want them to bake in that warm water bath. Got it. Yeah. They and why in, are they baking in the water bath? So that they don't overheat and that custard doesn't overcook and get rubbery. Okay. The water bath is gonna help them cook very gradually and we bake them low and slow at 300 Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so we bring them out. They are perfection. We have, yeah, they're beautiful. But there's another part to this. So we want to bring these here. Yes, okay, this is my favorite part, truly. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar. What does the sugar do? So the sugar is gonna caramelize and form that shell that we all love on our creme brulee so, so much. Nice. I'll do one. Yeah. And if you feel like doing one. I'm gonna blow torch. You can blow torch. Wasn't I'll on my bingo card for work today, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna watch your um, technique here. Is there something satisfying about it? I love it. So you're basically, like, what's happening right now? So all we're the burning sugar, sugar, we're burning sugar essentially. Yeah. And that's what creates that nice, super crispy, crunchy shell. And what I love about it is mm -hmm. creme brulee is so delicate and it's so sweet, but, oh, this was yours. It's addictive, okay, you, isn't it? you got it, okay, I'm gonna. So you just turn it on for me. you will go for it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, I think I'm gonna have to make this at home just so I can burn some stuff in my kitchen. <laughs> Like, this feels really good. Doesn't it? Okay, so, Ams, how much time do we have? Uh, just crack it. Just crack <laughs> How do I turn it off, Joe? Okay, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Mine's smoking. Okay, so this is all I see on social media. People cracking that creme brulee. It shatters. It's beautiful. So we have to do, oh, there it is. We got to do the crack. Are you ready? Well, let's see if our camera's on. There we go. Yeah. And ready? Oh yeah. The crack is complete. Can I? 
Oh my gosh, amazing. With like the burnt sugar. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> Cityline.tv for this recipe. So good. More coming up. Stay with us. <laughs> coming up, Colin just can't help himself. What is it? <laughs> He just circles oh, things. Oh, stop it. Exactly. Can somebody take that pen off, Colin? You know what? You should circle that. Let's circle the circle. <laughs> circle. Concentric the circle. circling oh, here on oh, City Light. Oh. Can you believe it? Oh, there ah, there, there we you are. go. Welcome back, everyone. So Colin and Justin are back with me. They've got easy ways that you can prepare your home to welcome warmer weather. This makes me very excited. Do you guys change up your space with the seasons? We do, Tracy, all you the do. time. I mean, not dramatically, but we'll add extra layers. And what yeah. we're talking about today is blowing off those wintry, cold layers and really yeah. welcoming in a much, much cooler front. And we have a hotel, as you probably know, out in Cape Breton called North Star. I've heard of it. You've heard of it. You've heard <laughs> tell. <laughs> it's the sale starts big deal. Tuesday. <laughs> um, but we, so every year we go back to Cape Breton and we ready the hotel for its next summer iteration. Right. And this time around, we're adding loads of yellow details to loads of the rooms. So white backdrops, most of the rooms at the hotel are painted in a really neutral palette, which yeah. means that we can fashion in lots of different layers and create a different mood every year. So maybe next year Beautiful. we might go oceanic blue, we might add a really rich jade green. But this year we are welcoming in summer and adding lots and lots of yellow. I think yellow is a good choice. Oh, so do I. It's happy. It's fantastic. I agree. Like this looks beautiful. Yeah, I mean it's the color of the sunshine. You yeah. know, so mm -hmm. if we're getting ready for summer, let's bring some sunshine in here. Nice. Uh, here it's done with the soft furnishings. You can see the chair, the pillow, little pillows on the bed, and a throw. Yes. So there's nothing on the wall. So it's actually really good that it's not a big commitment because then you can seasonally adjust it. You know, Absolutely. that's the thing. We seasonally adjust our life by going to Cape Breton. Yeah. You can seasonally adjust just as you change your wardrobe. Yes. Change your look, and it's not about spending a lot of money, but a few little changes can make a huge difference. Make a big difference. Mm -hmm. The chair is gorgeous. What have we got okay, next, Okay, so Colin? let's talk about what you have next. Uh, but while <laughs> we do that, I would love to know when do you, just so we can stock you properly, uh -huh. when do you go back east? We actually go back, east. well, we open again for a new season, Tracy, on the 7th of June. Uh, okay. Colin and I will head out there about the 23rd of May, and we'll okay. throw away all the covers and we'll get it ready. So, yes, yeah, so another, another fantastic season ahead of Beautiful. us. Beautiful. Exactly. Exactly. So let's talk about this space. Mm -hmm. You know, so one of the great things you can do in your own home is try and bring a sense of the outdoors and bring it indoors, mm -hmm. you know? And maybe you've got a porch on your house. Maybe yeah. you've got a garden room, a sunroom at the cottage, nice. you know? So think about ways where you can actually be inspired by the outside. Now here, you can see we've got a little stone floor there. There's a beautiful mm -hmm. granite floor there, which echoes the whole Canadian shield granite that the right. cabins are going to build on as well. Getting a lot of glass makes a big difference as well. But then actually using things that you perceive to be outdoors, indoors, will give you that vibe as well, you know. Okay. So getting, getting the, good, the wickers in there, a lot of good timber in there as well yeah. is a really nice way to go. Because, you know, if you've got trees outside, suddenly you're bringing a bit of the vibe from out there. Bring Inside. it indoors, and that room is going to feel a lot more summery. Is that one of your rooms? It, it is. It yeah. is I mean, pretty yeah. much every room we show you, Tracy, is one that's of ours. That's nice. That's one of our little cottage projects where yeah. we take kind of obviously run down cottages and turn them into something a bit more exciting. Shall yeah. we have a look at something else? Well, yeah, we will. But is, is are there chips in there? What's no, those in there? are my nuts. Okay. Those are almonds <laughs> and walnuts. Why did I? Yes. Did you just touch his, no, touch his nuts? Don't touch his nuts. Now, early on, Tracy, we did that lovely soft, creamy room over there. Yeah. So this kind of leans into that same it territory does. as well. Now, when we inherited this particular room, it was all exposed dark wood. It was right. all the colour of these beams. But we decided to paint out the cream, or rather the boards between. And that lovely soft Benjamin Moore Revere pewter, uh, pewter color. Nice. It's so welcoming. We pulled the rest of it together again with a massive king size bed, really gorgeous soft headboard, yeah. textural rugs, uh, a damask print uh, fabric for the drapery there, and layering. Do you know? <laughs> what is it? He just circles oh, things. Stop it. <laughs> exactly. Can somebody take that pen off, Colin? You know what? You should circle that. Circle Let's the talk circle. About that. <laughs> circle Concentric the circle. circling oh, here on oh, City Line. Oh, oh. Can you believe it? Oh, there you go. Ah, there there you go. Yes. <laughs> but isn't that, yes. Isn't that comfy, Tracy? Isn't that super, super comfy? Can you put that well, pen I in like your pocket? I like the fact that you have... Oh, we have a minute left. I like the fact that you have these loungers across from the bed. Yeah, That's exactly. nice. So that you can slip out your comfiness <laughs> into another comfiness. <laughs> <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> okay. That is a happy room. Did we just drop <laughs> Mickey Mouse? business! What about this one? Exactly. Let's do right. it. Uh, now 30 this seconds. Is, 30 this seconds. is about using your outside space, you know, so this if you've got gorgeous. a patio, if you've got a balcony, you've got a yard, anywhere that is vacant, 
yeah. do something with it, give it a use. You know, this is a dock up in cottage country, up in oh Halliburg. My gosh. And most docks are empty. You know, it's somewhere to tie up the boat. People don't yeah. really use them, but get the furniture on there make a big statement and actually give it a use so that it actually uh, actually answers, solves a question, something yes. that you have missing at home, make that dead space live for you. I know Outdoor we're out of time, but I'm just going to show the last oh, picture. But this one for me, the Everlast Group of Windows. This? The Everlast Group companies make these fantastic windows. Yeah. And Everlast windows are so good. These particular guys are triple glazed, so they do two things. One, they keep out the, 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 the heat in the summer, but mm -hmm. they baffle the cold in the winter as well. So big glazing, large format, enjoy your view, maximize sight lines, dive into the Everlast pool and make your home ever prettier. Stunning. Stunning, Thank Tracy. You. Put the pen away, Colin. More coming up. Yeah, you better point. Coming up, Shona Jensen wants to get you organized. Okay, so let's talk label makers. Uh, it's probably one of my more common questions is, what, what kind of label maker do you like? So yeah. we're, we're getting into it. And the ultimate hack for achieving a beautifully organized space is labels. I wonder who's into labels. Hmm. <laughs> Shona's back with me, of course. Hello. We got to talk about labels because you are the organization queen. Yep. You have them all. The whole segment. This is. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. The floor is open. Let's talk <laughs> label makers. Were we joking earlier? This is part of the Shona verse. This is like, Shona yeah. <laughs> um, it is. Okay. So let's talk label makers. Uh, it's probably one of my more common questions. Is what, what kind of label maker do you like? So yeah. we're, we're getting into it. Okay. So there are basically four different kinds, and I'm going to go progressively modern, yes. let's say. Okay? Yeah. So a lot of people were going to recognize this type of a label maker. Mm -hmm. Some of you are going to think it looks like a weird contraption, and some people are going to go, oh, that's so vintage. Oh, my God, that's so <laughs> <Totally>. cool. <laughs> so this was probably the start of label making. Yeah. And so it's totally analog. There's no power to it. The power is within your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no batteries, etc. It is fully functional on the dial. So the way this works, in case for those that don't know, is you just turn the dial to the letter that you want. Mm -hmm. You clamp it, and it embosses it into the tape. Yeah. So I've pre-done a few of them here. So you go through and spell or write or numbers or whatever it is that you'd want to label. I definitely remember that, that machine. Yes, right? Yeah. No spell check on this, so if no. you mess it up, you have to start again. Yeah. And then it takes... Life was harder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it puts out a label that, this isn't a real word, but it puts out a label that looks something along these lines. Yeah. And it's on a, like a rigid kind of um, mm -hmm. plastic tape, which is sticky on the back. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't go on everything. Like, you're not going to label your kid's coat with this, for no. example. It wouldn't stick to that. But you can have fun. I think it's most applicable, applicable to in today's world mm -hmm. in fun, creative ways. Like, you know, I just put happy birthday on this pre-made little cake mix. You might want to give it as a gift. Yeah. You could do crafts with it. You could frame a photo and then do a cute little uh, vintage tape on the totally. date or where it was taken. You know, things like that. So. So that's that. That's as basic as you get. Okay, now the next one, we need a bit of power for this. We need batteries for this Batteries, one. okay. So this one runs on four AA batteries. Mm -hmm. I had this version of this machine, was my first label maker, easily 20 years ago. Yeah. And it still works. It Good. runs on tape ca capsules that look like these. They come in all sorts of different colors and tapes and paper and glossy and clear and all the things, okay? okay. And like I said, I've had this for a version for 20 years mm -hmm. exactly that takes exactly these fills and they're still making them so I'm not really worried about that going yeah. away anytime soon and it's uh, runs by battery so there is a screen you can see what you're typing clearly it's a keyboard so you you know it's spell, like the right my what you want. I yeah. loved my blackberry that's exactly Same what thing. it's like and it's pretty straightforward whenever you've done the word it has different sizes you can make the letters be bigger or smaller yeah. it has a little bit of characters in it but it's a fairly straightforward thing and so this is the label that kind of does everything you press the side to cut it and it looks like this I think a lot of us are probably nice. familiar with this type Absolutely. of label maker yeah and you know whatever it this is what you label everything this is a little container with uh, my elastics etc that I keep mm -hmm. so it's on a shelf and I can see what it is perfect You're, that's that's very straightforward it's easy gonna to, get easy the job done and it's on battery power it is. yeah so exactly. now we're going a little bit more high-tech yeah we're gonna we're gonna tech it up okay. okay and so this is actually the label maker okay and it is so cute and so compact I'll put it in my hands so you can kind of see it for size it's just the size of your hand right so I love how easy this would be to store somewhere and keep on hand. Mm -hmm. The power source is that it charges. 
Got so it. that's nice. You don't have to think about batteries and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, what this one does is it runs off of an app. A this one's from a company called Nimbot. Okay. And so you download the app. It connected so easily. Okay. Because admittedly, with sometimes that can be a bit of a finicky thing when you're setting up a device. Absolutely not with this. It was so easy to connect. I was really impressed, actually. And then in this, for this one, you're typing out what it, whatever it is that you would like your label to be. So this is my flower container. So maybe you would want to type out your, um, oh, sorry, I just want to do that. Um, you want to type out what the expiry date is, for example, on it. If you're or, decanting things and you don't remember, yeah. it's a smart idea to do that. Yeah, for it sure. had powered down, so that's why that one just didn't go, so I'll do it now. Yeah. And um, and so you can do that with those labels. You can save them, so if you have a reoccurring thing, it saves in the app. You can okay, pick different good. fonts, yeah. different, of course, different font sizes. And so it prints, as I just did there, this is little because this is a little label, so I'll yeah. go really, really still here. And what I like about this one is it actually can do two lines. Yeah, keep holding so, that. What, 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 what? Oh, is it upside oh, down? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see it. So I know, I, couldn't I didn't even look at it after I ripped it off. And oh, so you see, homemade you know, flower, best, best before, before November, November 24. So, but these have all oh. sorts of different, you just have, yeah. you know, toss it on that. Put it on there on and the you would. Now, it comes in different colors and different uh, lengths and different sizes and things but it's like never, that. It's never going to be bigger than this little tape. That's right. Okay. Longer that's and in colors, right. but never bigger. Yeah. Okay. So then we're going to go to this next guy. That okay. one looks so cool. If it is so oh, pretty. Oh, I love it. So beyond it being like the cutest label maker that probably ever existed, yeah. it is really, really great with its functionality. So what you can do with this label is much bigger labels. Okay. What you can do is all the different fonts. You can do uh, images. You can do, it's basically like a word processing sheet. Look at that. Oh, I know. You made a picture. You're, you're my people. Everybody <laughs> went, whoa. She made a picture. <laughs> So this one's cute, I'll just rip That's it off. Cool. I just whipped it up in a second, very easy to use. Jensen's yeah. Summer Kitchen, unsweetened iced tea. So I'm going to do I'm this. I'm totally going to show I'm Jensen's put it on my Summer Kitchen. Tea, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and last, the other thing I love, this is really great for small businesses. You can create all sorts of like QR codes and yes. barcodes to label if you're an Etsy seller or something like that. Okay. And so for example, it comes out Looking like this, your own creation, whether you create it through the app or create it through other software. Love that. So you see how that says shop the show? If you scan that QR code on your screen right now, it's going to lead you to these label makers and you can go shop them. Thank you for doing that for us. We didn't have to use the graphic. We just do show so that. We got this. Let's go to break. More coming up, everyone. Stay with us. <laughs> Shine bright with City Lock. It is a vibe. For a fresh take on fashion. That one's got my name on it. Food. These ingredients are screaming spring. And decor. Let's pick this whole thing up and put it in my living room. It's the perfect way to brighten your day. Literally light up your morning. Wow is right, honey. Wow is right. City Lock. Weekdays. Only on City TV. I love these guys. Colin and Justin, Joe T, Shona, thank you so much. The creme brulee was phenomenal, like the best I've ever had. <laughs> Studio audience, you are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And everyone at home that joins us today and every day, we love you. Thank you for hanging out with us. We will see you tomorrow for Fashion Friday. Have a good one, everyone.